Have you ever wondered how memory allocation works in programming? It can be a complex topic, but today we're diving into the fascinating world of the DL Malloc algorithm and how it coalesces chunks. Stick around, because by the end, you'll have a clear understanding of this crucial process. I totally get it. Memory management can be tricky, and if you're dealing with free chunks and metadata, it can feel overwhelming. You're not alone in this confusion. Many developers grapple with understanding how DL Malloc handles chunk coalescing. Let's look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, how does DL Malloc coalesce chunks? They provided a scenario with two contiguous free chunks and wanted to know how many bytes of free space block A should report after coalescing with block B. Sound familiar? Let's break it down together. To understand this, we need to consider how DL Malloc structures its memory. Each chunk is surrounded by metadata that holds important information about the chunk's size. When two free chunks are adjacent, DL Malloc can combine them into a single larger chunk which is what we call coalescing. And don't go anywhere. At the end of this video, I will share a crucial insight that could change how you think about memory management in your applications. To understand how DL Malloc coalesces chunks, the user should first recognize the structure of the chunks. Each chunk is surrounded by metadata that contains information about its size. When two contiguous free chunks are present, like block A and block B, the user needs to determine how to combine them. The first step is to identify the total size of the coalesced block. The user should calculate the new size for block A after coalescing. This includes the size of block A, the size of block B, and the metadata from both blocks. However, the user should also consider the textbook's perspective which states that the metadata will report only the size of the free space, excluding the additional space from the metadata itself. In conclusion, the user should decide which approach to follow based on their understanding of the DL Malloc algorithm and the implications of metadata in chunk coalescing. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of memory allocation dates back to the early days of computing? It's amazing how far we've come yet some of these fundamental principles remain the same. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests checking the source code of DL Malloc to understand how it coalesces chunks. They point out that the metadata consists of two size T unsigned integers, which include the size of the struct itself. The coalescing process starts at a specific line in the code where the size variable tracks the chunk size, including metadata. The user confirms that the textbook's interpretation is incorrect as it confuses chunk size with the user-allocated memory size. They emphasize the importance of consulting primary sources for accurate understanding. Here's the insight I promised. Understanding how memory allocation works can significantly improve your programming skills. By mastering these concepts, you can write more efficient code and optimize your applications. And there you have it. Now you know how DL Malloc coalesces chunks and how to calculate the reported size accurately. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more insights into programming concepts. Remember, understanding these fundamentals can make a big difference in your coding journey.